right here. What people don't realize is that Maui was in a, a, a D1, D2 severe drought for the season, and the risk for large fire potential was higher there than it was in California for this month and last month and, and in September as well. The winds were coming from the northeast, and they were very strong winds. They were descending, going up and over the mountain range and descending what we call the lee side. And as when that happens, you get acceleration near the surface. When you get these structures burning in a high wind, they're creating embers that ignite the next structure, which ignite the next structure. And so it happens really quickly. We have this additional issue, which is that our island archipelago has been invaded by um, fire-prone grasses from all over the world. And the problem is so big. <laughs> I mean, over a million acres, and that's big for a small island. It's 26% of our state. These conditions all lined up with kind of a classic fire weather situation. It just so happened that there was ignition during the high wind event, allowing a very fast spreading fire to burn into the community towards the coast.